this is James Calm, the guy on the bike with another Enterprise Production. And we'd like to welcome you to the broadcast today. And we're coming to you from the top of the museum mile from the world famous Guggenheim Museum. And today we're going to have an opportunity to visit the preview of the shapes of space. Let's take a look. So here we are in the central atrium of the Guggenheim. And as I understand, the show is spread out throughout the entire area here, all over, all along the ramp. We'll come back and get some remarks from the curator. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of Tom Kent and Lisa Jensen, I'd like to welcome you to this morning's preview of the exhibition of space, the Shapes of Space, which is now being shown in its final state of completion. I'm Anne Professor, Chief Curator here at the museum. As many of you know, this exhibition opened uh, in, on April 14th, and it has been installed sequentially throughout the last two months. Uh, um, drawn entirely from the permanent collection, this exhibition was proceed, uh, conceived uh, in the tradition of these large-scale presentations we do from time to time, in which we cut through the collection thematically. Some of you might remember our moving pictures exhibition in 2002, or the singular form, sometimes repeated show in 2004. Shape of Space examines the spatial impulse from 20th and 21st century art combining works from different time periods and of vastly different mediums to create provocative and illuminating juxtaposition. Very wonderful irreverence for the notion of chronology. And that is Kevin Lottery, curator and assistant, Matt Trotman, assistant curator, and Ted Mann, assistant curator of the collection. And they're here, right here. And um, if you'd like to walk through with them um, or ask questions, we're all here to um, respond to any thoughts, ideas, I'm, if you here, I'm Nat Trotman, this is Kevin Lottery. Um, the real genesis of the show was the restoration of the museum, which, as you all know, has been going on for a while. Um, but this summer was the point at which the restoration really needed to come indoors. Um, and so the show has been opening in bits and pieces since April 15th, uh, two, two levels at a time. Uh, and it's just today, it's the last section, which is this fifth level. Paintings. He also makes sculptures and sure. paintings and light box pieces. And they always, I mean, not always, but he frequently combines a number of different media together in installations. So this has also been shown, there are, there are three other components that we also own. Um, that is a, a painting and a light box and a floor sculpture. These pieces 
composer by uh, by Yukin Teruya, um, following in the similar vein of, of creating these mini little landscapes very delicately out of the pan, cutting the paper of these shopping bags, and holding them down to create trees, which are modeled after photographs of actual trees. Um, though he doesn't really tell you the, the exact location of them. Um, but just the, the incredible handicraft of creating these very fine little objects um, from the most banal everyday sort of materials. Um, you know, they, they become literally little like proscenium stages into which you sort of insert yourself into these landscapes in particular. Um, you know, sort of the class state of the making always was a lot of things that there's the string of major installations. And they don't fit on a one-to-one -one basis purely with uh, different themes, but um, but this one is really bringing out the the idea of so psychologically encoded space um, by recreating this fictional character's living room and then using these video projections to um, open up all of the objects to these memories or or sort of quiet private um, mental indications. Um, so as you walk through, you're you know you're supposed to be able you, you are allowed to sit on the furniture and sort of um, there's sort of a limited degree of interaction that uh, that the artist is conceived. The musician named Stephen O'Malley is a member of the band called the Sun. sculptures by Maria Elena Gonzalez. Untitled, 2005. Okay, this funky disco floor is by Piotr Ruklansky called Untitled Dance Floor. This amazing piece is by Allison Schatz, and it's called The Shape of Space. This is James Calm coming to you from the Guggenheim Museum, and The Shapes of Space. Thanks, Kate. 